When we talk about signs of too much stomach acid, the first one we really need to go over is acid reflux. Because when we eat food, our body makes hydrochloric acid or HCl. This is what stomach acid is. And the body makes this to help us begin to break our food down. But the perception is that since acid is coming up, the body is making too much acid and the excess acid is coming up and burning us. So we take these medications that turn off that acid, that symptom is gone, they're like, oh wow, that really fixed it. I was making too much acid because I shut it off and now all those symptoms are gone. Here's the problem. What you're shutting off is the ability for you to digest your food. Without that stomach acid, you can't break the food down properly and you can't pull the nutrients out of that food. When we eat food and our stomachs make hydrochloric acid, when the stomach becomes acidic enough, it triggers what's called the lower esophageal sphincter. The problem is, this LES, as it's called, is triggered by stomach acid. So if someone is making a very small amount of stomach acid, but it's not enough to trigger that valve to close, the small amount of acid that we have comes back up and it burns us. But when a person can make enough stomach acid to acidify the stomach correctly, it triggers that valve to close and then we don't get acid anymore. There's no more reflux. The next signs we need to talk about are bloating and indigestion. This often makes people think like, oh, I have too much acid here. But when you look at the word indigestion, digestion, it means a lack of digestion. So if the body is using hydrochloric acid to break our food down and create that digestion, then a lack of stomach acid would be what creates indigestion. So when food is not properly acidified in the stomach, the body still has to figure out how to break it down at least a little bit to get some of the nutrients out of there. And it does this by that food rotting and fermenting. And this rotting and fermenting process creates gases and toxins. And these gases will start to expand our stomach or our intestinal tract and it creates this expansion of gas which creates this bloating and this process of indigestion. When the food isn't break down properly, it'll kind of sit there for a long time because this rotting and fermenting process takes a lot longer than breaking it down with enough HCl. So that must have been the problem. I must have had too much acid. But what's going on is that the small amount of acid that you are making is mixing with the alkaline waste product from this bacteria and it's kind of like mixing stomach acid with baking soda and it's creating like a fizzy mess in your stomach where it shouldn't be. And that fizzy mess can create more gas and pressure and, and make us feel more bloated and nauseated and all these problems that come with that. So when you turn off the stomach acid, you don't get that chemical reaction between the acid and the alkaline that reaction stops and then a person can feel better. They haven't fixed the problem. They're not digesting their food better. They just removed that symptom. 